Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play of the Crooked Man. When we left off, we had to kill the Crooked Man so many times and I couldn't do it right. But now, we have Sissy's box and we are gonna go back and give her this wonderful, wonderful little box. And she's gonna be so happy and give us lots of hugs and it's gonna be amazing. Sissy's gone! Huh? Did Sissy leave? But she's wounded. Why can't I move? Okay. Sissy? And we'll save. You guys know how I am about saving. Can't be too safe to save. She's probably gonna die, or I'm gonna die. Somebody's gonna die. Cece, where you be, be? Oh crap, where is she? I have to like look for her. She out here? Okay, I'm gonna just go with the ominous piano music that's going in the background here. I was like, are they slamming her face into the piano? Sissy! Yep, she screwed. Ah! Ah! Who's playing that piano so dramatically at a moment like this? Yes? N no! Stay away! Oh, snap! Why does this guy have ridiculous courage when it comes to this this crooked man? Stop right there! Back off, monster! David! Yeah, we're bound. <laughs> He's screwed! Sissy, get out of the hotel! D david what are you? I said run away, I'll take care of this. With my knife! Hey, monster! I don't know what the hell you are, but don't lay a finger on Sissy. Save? Because we're gonna die? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're gonna die, you're gonna regret this. What do you want me to do? Oh my god, do I have to, f I have to fight him? What? Oh, ow! Ow! <laughs> this isn't gonna work! Why is it so slow all of a sudden? Really? Oh god, okay. I thought I was down to 10 already. I guess I was 30. Crap! I'm dead. That's why he let me save. Oh, I don't want to do one of these. You have to fight the crooked man until you pass kind of instances. Ah! Why is the knife arc coming towards me anyways? Shouldn't it be going towards him? Okay. Oh, so pro. So pro. Okay, two spooks for you. Actually, two spokes for me. Ow! Why is this a thing? Ow! I kill him? Did I do it? Second try? That'd be nice. Yay! We killed him! Or something like that. David. David! Pant. Pant. David, are you okay? Yeah. I don't think it'll chase us anymore. Never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt, but... Sissy? What's wrong? Are you sick? If she faints on the stairs, it's gonna be very terrible. Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? Because it's haunted and you guys went in there and I'm an idiot and I opened the uh, floor chamber? I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is this why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No. I hate it. Somebody. Somebody help. I got your box if that helps. Sissy. Please don't cry. What's wrong with being a wimp? Uh, please. Eh. My first instinct is to tell her not to cry, but then you're... Insinuating that she is a wimp, so what's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? I'm a wimp. Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David? I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. 
But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not uh, bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. I know I'll all support you. Thank you, David. I, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you too. You guys should get away from that door. Hey, David, did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so though I didn't lock it, a key. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What? Well, really? Er, I picked it up around here. Yeah, nice. Good job. A key from my house opens Sissy's box. So the former tenant is involved with the box? What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. <laughs> Why was it locked? Let's crack it open. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. Something seems wrong. Something seems all kinds of wrong. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. You're just bleeding from the arm. Well, there she goes. You just let her walk away. Whoa! Okay. Jump kiss. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Let's not. D that surprised me. <laughs> I bet it did. She seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. Including the depths of hell. Scene 1. Hotel Ruinheim? Sissy. End. Okay. Well, that actually went better than planned. So now what, we're back home? No, we are not home. Man, this place was far. That took almost all day. So this is a place. Looks like the school was abandoned. Of course, we'll go from an abandoned hotel to abandoned school. No one around, I guess. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's take a look. Oh, you dummy. Except for demolition, no entry. You know what that means. You should enter it. Hey, this is school for that leaflet. Maybe, uh, then maybe he is here after all. Uh, oh, the law school leaflet? Are you serious? He's not going to be here, man. Come on, man. Let's go to the bathroom, man. No? Woman's bathroom? No? Where do you want me to go? Uh, always locked. This reminds me of Miso. Which eh, is kind of creepy now. Shiny! Give me the shiny. There's a nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Got the infirmary key. Why is it always the infirmary? I'm just curious. Completely dark out. Cardboard box. Books. Shelves. More shelves. Notice about keys. Room managers for the month. Don't loot the keys. Uh, parlor. Stacy Lizzie. Reference room. Ray Twain. Lecture house. John Keith. Computer room. Friends. More lecture room. Oh my God. So many things to read. Fire hydrant. Okay. I guess that was worth it. So now I have a key to the infirmary. What's in here? Memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. We have a fissure in our apartment. Contains cleaning tools. Okay. 
Anything in here? Oh, I unlocked the infirmary. Okay, why would I want to do that? Books about medical treatment. Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Okay, found the key, gonna save. Medicines and such. Anything else in here? Can I sleep in here? Do I want to sleep in here? <laughs> I love how they just walk into the bed. What's this? Oh, that's not the parlor. Where's the parlor? Is it upstairs? Or is it this? That's the lecture hallway. Okay, so we need to go either upstairs or downstairs. Anything that's going to tell me... Which way I should go... Was someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. I really don't think we should be following any other people in here. I feel like there's always someone at these places. A box of tools. Whole box would be heavy to take. I'd probably take two tools from it. Oh, well, let's take a, a crowbar and a screwdriver. Okay. Thank you. I'll come back if I need anything else. That sounds like a good idea, David. Nothing in the refrigerator. Shelves full of reports. Drawers holding miscellaneous things. Okay, so where'd that person go? Open security box. That's it? That's all you got for me? Lots of books. Thank you, David. You are so informative in everything that you do. Alright, so whoever ran this way is also very good at hiding or they're a ghost. Locked. Locked. Unlocked the parlor. But why? Why did I unlock the parlor? Anthologies and albums line the shelves. Okay. Check the trash. It's empty. What's this? I guess it's wire art or something? Not sure what it's supposed to be though. Hmm, apparently it was made by Ray Twain. One of the lecturers. Let me let me read it. Uh Okay, I can't read it. Can you guys read it? Can you guys get anything from that? Nah, I got nothing. Okay. Ray Twain, you are a very strange person. Can't even check the flowers. Alrighty then. So I guess we checked everything we can here, so we'd have to go up or down. Up! How many floors is this place? And in we go. Okay. Security box that requires a passcode. I don't have one yet. Unless Ray Twain was giving me the code with the wire, which is very possible. Looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, Law 2 needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, 0 or 1 can represent much more complex numbers. The smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though perhaps it's more an artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Okay. I feel like they're telling me that little code there is going to give me the numbers that I need. I guess I can look at it as numbers and see what I can find. Why does this law school have math books? I'm terrible at math. Oh. I'm going to need this. Hang on. Give me some paper. Oh, I need some paper. All right, got paper. Now I need a pen. Eh, sorry, I'm all up in your face there for a second. All right, so... I don't know how this works. 1 equals 1, 2 equals 10, 3 equals 11, 4 equals 100. I never learned binary. Did you guys learn binary? Is that a thing? 5 equals 101, 6 equals 110, 7, 111, 8 equals 1000, 9 equals 1001, 10 equals 10, 10. Oh, there's so much to write. 12. I don't understand how this works. You guys are probably way smarter than I am. Okay, 14. 1110. 15. 1111. 16 equals uh, 10,000. 17 equals 10,001. 
18 equals 10,010. 19 equals 10,011. And 20 equals 10,100. Okay, got all that in front of me. Boom, all written. You guys probably can't even see that. I don't know why I'm showing you. Like, I wouldn't have written it down. But I did. I really did. Okay, so we need to go back. Yeah, I know. I already read that. Thank you, though. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Because I have a feeling once I know what I'm supposed to be looking for, I'm going to need that later. Uh, should we explore around here a little bit more before we go back? What's in here? Another code! Some sort of diary. I've lost a note with my security box password, thus I couldn't get into the computer room, and my headmaster is angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing the seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in the book somehow. I should go look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. But if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Okay, so you left one of your things too. Okay, and then I guess maybe these tell you whose room they are. Franz Moore. Ray Twain. Okay, so this was Ray Twain. In here. Alright. I'm learning stuff. I'm doing things. Cindy Peterson. Everybody's got a lockbox. Looks like some sort of diary. Uh, Michael's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. If I use my birthday security code, I feel like maybe I should change it. Okay, so yours is your birthday. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you were Cindy. Okay, C-Y-N-D-I equals B-Day. The bidet is her password. What's in here? Andrew Robinson. What? It's locked with a six-digit pin. Interesting. John Keith is open. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. Got a key to John Keith's room. Why is his key in the room? Some sort of notebook. Okay, times are changing. Our existing laws are of use no more. We must surpass the, far the father of our law to find the true answer. Okay. That's weird. Alright, so... That's everybody. I think. So we need to go back down. Now I do realize that we haven't gone all the way back downstairs yet. Uh, that is one thing that we have not done. But we'll save that for a minute here. Because I want to see if I can figure out this code. By Ray Twain. Okay, so one zero is two. So we have two, one zero one is four. 5 and then 1111 11 is 15. So 2515 should be the code to the safe that's in Ray Twain's office. Ah, I feel so smart. These people are supposed to be in law school and this is what they had. This is the the maximum capacity that they had of their brains. Probably not. They're probably logging away something very secret. 2515 Nailed it! The key to the reference room! Alright! I just have this feeling the Crooked Man's gonna come visit us soon. I don't like that feeling. But I have it. Well, can't say I didn't tell you so. Wah! You doofus. Ow. Ow. Hey, who was that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name, or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. Just any name. You could have said, you know, Bono. I don't know why that would be the first one. He doesn't even have a last name. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. What, what do you want, a permit? 
Now tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from this school, so I came back, uh, so I came to bring back some memories. D, that's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but what is the oddest name you've heard? Don't even say sissy, because D is definitely weirder than sissy. It's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? <laughs> what a little brat. You're an idiot. Uh, but I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I have. I've taken keys. I've taken, uh, scraps of paper. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. What the hell is this problem? Didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. Alright, is this the reference room? No, where was the reference room? I don't remember what the reference room was. Faculty room. Um, over here, maybe? Janitor's room. Infirmary? No, so it's not down here. Maybe it is on the second floor. Or maybe it's down another floor. Well, this looks different. Basement bookshelves is blocked from the other side. Storeroom, but it's locked, okay. The doors are stubborn and they won't open. They're not jammed shut, they're just stubborn. You gotta coax them into opening, you know, be like, hey, you should really try to open yourself up a little bit more. Reference room! Alrighty then, so what's here? They say that people despise those who think similar to, similarly to them or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance of goodwill or, or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may have in your heart an affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never understood this philosophy stuff. Why wouldn't you just dislike the people you don't like? Very true. Very true, David. I don't like you, though, when I'm playing this game. Because I feel like it's a good story, and I want to know what happens next. Record of books checked in and out. Okay. Philosophy law. Can I not check the backs of these? Okay, civil law. Civil law. Criminal law. Criminal law. Criminal law. Okay, legal history, criminology, 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 internal law, or sorry, international law. I don't like this picture that's back here either. Announcements of new arrivals and the like, okay? George Wythe, the signatory of the Declaration of Independence. Um, he's sometimes called the father of American law for teaching first classes and just to prudence. It's attached to the wall, but there's a screw a little loose. If I had the right tool, I could unscrew it. Do I not have a screwdriver? Did I leave the screwdriver? I feel like he's going to, like, turn and look at me or something. It's really unnerving. What I was... Do I have the... I do have a screwdriver. Stupid? Okay. What's the writing behind this? 1647. Is it a code for something? It probably is. And I really doubt it's Cindy's birthday. Glad I took this screwdriver. Not sure it'll be useful again. Alright, so... I guess that is going to be where we stop it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of The Crooked Man. And I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ Let's Play.